in the attic. So uh, we're working on this thing. Uh, this is the Unico system. Uh, yeah. So I think it's like a. Uh, is it a water? It's not. A, it's it's just like a very small unit. Kind of looks like a water source heat pump, but it's not. It's just basically a heat pump. So I think that's the electrical panel. So we're gonna go ahead and open her up and see what we can do. So here we go. Okay, so we got some flashing lights. These are actually flashing. Uh, this is the power. Uh, this is the heat. And uh, the thermostat's blank right now. I took the batteries out, so we got to see what's going on. So we're gonna open this up. Okay, so I tested the thermostat R. See if we we're getting power. We were not, and the thermostat's blank when I took the batteries out. There's a common hooked up to the um, to the thermostat, but it looks like it's not hooked up here. So I am getting 24 volts. Um, well, 27. So, it looks like we have some kind of drain switch which connects to the R. So this is this guy. So we're going to see if we're getting 24 volts here. Um, I need two hands, so we're going to take that wire now. Okay, so we're going common to that wire. Um, so this looks like a drain switch. So it goes from R and then comes back through here and then connects to the R to the thermostat. I'm not getting anything, so we're gonna check it. There it is. Oh. Looks like it was tripped. Let's go ahead and try this again. So we're gonna go uh, between that yellow wire and common. Now, if that was a problem, we should be getting 24 volts. Just like that and we are getting voltage now so looks like the problem was is we weren't getting a 24 volt signal so even if the thermostat's running off batteries it doesn't have 24 volts to send back to the board to have it do anything so now we know that i'm going to tighten that up so that doesn't happen again basically it it tipped um and then uh we'll go ahead and uh, try to cycle it from here okay so the thermostat is powered up now to add to that common and it's calling for fan. Actually, it might be calling for heat now. Let's see. Yep. So we're good to go. So it looks like it was just that guy. So I got it tightened up so it shouldn't move again. Maybe when someone came up here for a PM, they, uh, they uh, might have knocked it over or something. So we're gonna go ahead and just check the filter and everything else, make sure there's no other problems. But okay, so we're only getting about 70 degrees. So our heat pump is working, but it's only gonna put out about 70 degrees. It's like 19 outside and snow. Um, and we can check here, it's not coming on because we should be getting over 100 degrees coming out of the supplies. And I know that this is a high static unit. Um, that's the whole point of this thing is basically the vents are like little holes in the wall. Um, probably like two inch holes or three inch but uh, it should be a lot warmer so let's see what's going on with this that's our terminals that's that's what's calling we got a relay breakers sequencer relay and I see a melted wire see that so that's probably why electric strips aren't coming on I'm gonna go ahead and kill power to that and we're gonna go ahead and repair that wire. Okay, so I got that wire repaired. I thought I'd show you what the insides of this looks like. So that's a variable speed blower motor. Um, I know it doesn't have a thing on it, but uh, I think it's, com it's controlled by the board. And this is your coil, and then you got your filter back there. So that's pretty much how this thing works. So I'm gonna put it all back together so it runs normally. Uh, but yeah, so. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the heat strips before I apply high voltage because I still have low voltage going to it so all the relays should close and all that good stuff. So I'm just going to make sure everything works before I actually apply high voltage to it. So I'm going to put all this back together first. Okay, so we have the high voltage shut off but we do have low voltage. So the screen wire here, that's to energize a fan. This unit is actually for a VAB system so it's not part of the Unico, it's just a third party uh, electric strip unit. So anyway, uh, the green's going to turn on the fan which is attached to this relay. It's not connected to anything because the Unico is controlling its own fan. Uh, this brown one here, that's for uh, defrost uh, heat strip. 
and the red one is for first stage heat and the uh, black wire here that's for second stage heat and then the orange is the common so yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure we're getting voltage and we want to see if we're getting heat strip one we are and we want to see if we're getting heat strip two yep so we're receiving the call so we're going to switch this over to continuity because we want to see if these switches are actually closed or not okay this one is not yet Okay, that one is closed. Okay, and that one's closed, so they're all closed. Well, let's go ahead and energize high voltage, see what happens. I'm guessing I know this isn't hooked up to anything, but, you know. We got our amp clamp. So usually it's about 20 amps. We're at 17 on that one that we repaired. And this one's at 18. This seems to be okay. Cool. It looks like we fixed the issue. Um, the temperature down on the supplies is definitely much warmer. Um, it just turned on, so it's not uh, too much. So we're going to go ahead and close up this panel and call her a day, put it all back together. So, yeah. So, anyway, I hope this was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.